What's going on everybody and welcome to this week's episode of the Williams Warm Up. The sun is absolutely beaming down here in Grove but this week we're heading to La Castellet in France and we're taking you behind the scenes on all things Williams Racing. First up, I'm sure a few of you may have noticed over the past couple of weeks that a little upgrade was brought to Alex's car in the last few races. This week sees it brought to Nicholas Atifi's car, so we caught up with FX, who's our technical director, along with Nikki's race engineer, Gaetan, to talk through all things about the new upgrade. Hi everybody, hi France, I'm FX de Maison, I'm the technical director of uh, Williams Racing. Hello guys, uh, I'm Gaetan Jego, I'm racing engineer for Nikki since uh, 2020. You've been a good kid, you can have a new <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> the kids. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> speaking seriously, FX. Uh, do, do you think I can get the kit for round 12? Uh, I think you've been, a, you, you've been a good guy, so yes. I can you, get you, the you, kit? You, you and Nicky will get deserve. it. We, we, okay, we good. deserve it for the next good. race, yes. Production is on target. It's just because it's France and it's near my... Yeah, my that, then after home, I need so to give it back after yeah. France. No, I think no? you'll have it, you'll have okay. it again. Good. Yeah, you'll have it again. Okay. It's That's not good. like a toy we give you and then we take it back. It's yeah, not so bad. it's good. It looks like you did a decent step huh? in the past race, it's good. It looks like, too bad. looks like, I mean, there's still a lot to learn, but and we open this with two cars, we will learn it and, and push yeah. it to the maximum. Yeah, that's two something. drivers as well. It's always better to have a feedback from two yeah. drivers. You know, we're only engineers, so we need the driver. It's the driver who drives the car, not us. But uh, yeah, it was a long process to bring it. <sighs> yeah, it was a long process because we, um, we, we really quickly saw that uh, our, our concept was not really the right one. And it was pushing us to drive. A too stiff car, too low, too low ride height, and, and very difficult to, to drive in, uh, in a slow, slow corner. So we, we decided to change our, our philosophy, to change our concept. The car looks quite different. A lot of new parts, side ports, floor, front wing. Yeah, yeah. When you see the, the noise we had in production, there yeah. many, many new parts. It's more like a, it's easier to do the list of the parts we kept than, uh, than the parts we changed. Anyway, the, we'll see on track, but the, the simulation results look good, promising. Yeah, Let's see what, what you can do on track. Better. No, it's, as you say, it's a step. We have yeah. a, we Alex was Q2, could have been Q3 in Austria. Yeah, he was Q2. When, when, uh, you know, it, there is no miracle in motorsport. You need some time to get there. And, and would be good if the French car can do Q2 in a Ricard, no? Would be good. Because uh, he's a driving, being driven by a Canadian that speaks <laughs> as well with a French. Yeah. French yeah. design car. Racing well, by French well, and still, drove still, by still an English design car. I'm just uh, the policeman here. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. French policeman. Oh, it's <laughs> French police. <laughs> <laughs> we we've seen the changes of the car, the effect. Um, the big thing is to corner balance and drivability, I guess. Yeah, but we start to be too technical now. It's a, yeah, it's a different side pod. It's longer side pods. The car looks nicer, a bit more feminine uh, look. So it's, it's, uh, it's getting the drivers to be able to drive it better. That's exactly, cool. like to make an easier car to drive, even if Alex said, oh, it's, a, it's more picky in the last race, but I think it was mostly maybe because of the conditions yeah. that in France we... Oh, there's uh, never any wind in France, no, for the car, no? For the car, there is always Historically. wind, I, I tell you, Ali, What's the name of the straight line again? <laughs> Mistral. Mistral. Yeah. It's famous wind in France, so. <laughs> but fa wind. very famous in south of France. Yeah. So you were, yeah, you were concerned about the introduction and the time and the minute yeah it's been complicated because the chassis needs to be modified so we need uh, we need to bring the car back here spend some time in, um, in the composite shop and uh, modify the, the chassis change the side pods it's been a lot of effort from the from the teams here from the, from the production team and uh, thanks to them we will be able to have two cars and make an happy uh, frenchman engineer in the, yes in the south I'll of france happy. definitely a tremendous work by the factory after the crashes in Silverstone, to have the car yeah. for Austria and to have two cars for France is a great effort. Huh? Yeah, we will not have a full truck of spare parts, but uh, we'll have enough too. Yeah. Our chances in France, where do you think we're going to be? We saw we were fighting with uh, Aston Martin and uh, Alfa Romeo. I think Alfa we're going to be in the mix. I think we're looking at uh, going to Q2 against all these cars. Yeah, no? that's the target. Well, I think the season starts now a bit more. We've been, uh, and, uh, uh, I, idling too too long. Yeah. So we, we start to it's last, like a, year, last year at the same time we had zero points. So. Uh, like you said earlier, it's a bit like a B car. Huh? Yeah, it's a so now we have to use that. Yeah. Now we use all the opportunities. No pressure. No, no, but there are there will be opportunities. Improve step by step, but uh, we have to use 100% of what we have, and then just there will be opportunities. 
to climb back into the championship. Well, a big thanks to FX and Gaytan for an insightful look at that brand new upgrade. But next up, it's time for the latest episode of Between Two Tires. Logan Sargent, Zach O'Sullivan, over to you. Hi guys, welcome to Between Two Tires. My name is Logan Sargent and I'm here with... Zach O'Sullivan. I got a few questions lined up for All you. Right. My first question is, what are your favorite hobbies outside of racing? Mountain biking. <laughs> uh, he's taking the bet. Uh, apart from mountain biking, um, I do a bit of graphic design. Uh, I've graphic always, design? Graphic design. Tell me more about it. Tell that. me more about it. Uh, I design all my, I do a bit of stuff with my helmet. I've done it since I was like 12 or 13. I kind of got into it on Photoshop uh, and enjoy kind of wasting my time doing that outside the track. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right. When you introduce yourself, how many oohs do you put in your name? How many oohs? Oohs. <laughs> Is it 10? Is it 15? It depends who I'm talking to. Okay, to me. But so one on one here. Okay. One ooh. One ooh. That's four. I like to go Lugan. If, talk, if I'm talking to Williams, it's ooh. So Lugan. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I think we all know the answer to this one. But who's Trevor Carlin's favorite? Me. <laughs> I mean, You're this right. Is, is this going back at him or I gotta check? Okay, it's not. I think I, I won that one. I don't know. But anyways. I've done more years. No, we've done no, the same. Me and Trev have history. We'll How many years have you done? Three. Three. F4, British F3, now FI F3. It's the same. Game on. <laughs> After your win, you jumped onto the car and did an eagle celebration. But most importantly, how many times did you prepare in the mirror? So this took a lot of gym work. This so is th the real reason for this, the training camps. This, this, yeah. This was 2020 prep back in the day. A lot of practice, just getting the, the right pace. Um, so I did it in 2020 when I won in Silverstone. I figured I'd bring her back. Deja vu. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so when you win a race, right, <laughs> since you're still tiny, yeah. you can't drink alcohol. Well, So yeah. what are you going to drink? What are you going to drink? Uh, what, what, I don't know what's on the podium. This is a problem. What do you mean? Whatever's on the podium. But they give you champagne on the podium. This is a problem. Yeah, but I think when you're 17, they still give you... Um, no. Like I love the hardware at Silverstone. <laughs> Have I just got you cancelled? Is that the US getting cancelled? Alright, I'm rolling with it. Highs and lows of the recent training camp. The low was by far the mountain biking. I think that's a high. On my side it was, I mean I got pretty high up before I fell, but it was a high. No, the mountain biking was easily the low. Because <laughs> I was <laughs> myself to not hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly wiped me out as well. <laughs> and the high was the chef. That's a good point, down. you know. Yeah. That so, was phenomenal. The best part of a training camp was actually eating. <laughs> yeah. If you could drive any Williams F1 car, what would it be and who would be your teammate? What would it be? Oh, any car. FW14B. And who would be your teammate? And since we're one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to say the one and only Lugan Sergeant. Mano a mano. <laughs> exactly. What's your go-to first date? Revealing my secrets here. Come on now. Do I know the girl or am I just meeting her for the first time? First time. First time. First impressions, first date. Instagram slide. <laughs> In with the slide tackle. On that note, probably just a uh, casual drink at a bar somewhere. But I'm old enough to do that. Yeah, true. You're not, so. Don't drink, guys. <laughs> Unless you're Logan. So I've heard you're still learning to drive. <laughs> have, you got, have, you, have you got your license yet? No. So you're still learning I'm to get... I'm still learning. Embarrassingly, I failed the theory test. Did first you? First time round. So I have a few questions to oh. ask you. Regarding, regarding oh, no. the. <laughs> oh my God! Your you're, preps. You're driving. Test. This is not good. So I have three si tr three traffic signs for you. Okay. And I need you to tell me what each one is. So first, I'm gonna show the camera. Okay, then me. And then I'll show Zach. So we have that. All right. What I'm, is that, Zach? I'm gonna guess you can't go side by side. Well, what does that mean? You can't go. You can't overtake another car. Okay. You've nailed it. Let's go. These are our Monaco. Next. What do we got? I reckon the road's slippery. Slippery ahead. road? Slippery road. You don't want to drift, do you? Not on, the, not on the road. I mean, that's irresponsible. You are right, but oh. to me it more looks like lack of traction. Lack of traction. <laughs> you need to go P1 on the rear bar. And then the last one, I will tell you, this one's quite difficult. I don't think you're going to get this one. But this is the sign. Is it just a road for bikes and cars? No. Is it bike on top of car? No. I, I'm lost. This right here is no vehicles at all. 
No vehicles at all? No vehicles. So guys, no. you need to watch out when I'm on the road because I could end up in a no vehicle zone. No vehicles. No vehicles. In Miami, I heard you had a boat. Why wasn't I invited? I mean, I was, wasn't in the country, but why wasn't I invited? To be honest, at this boat party, it was 18 plus. All right, why didn't you invite so, Ben? Ben wrote the questions. Ben and Rich and Thomas were all invited. They were all invited? Yeah. I see myself out. And uh, yeah, it was me, Tiesto, the whole lot. It was good, <laughs> it was good. Well, a big thanks to Zach and to Logan, but now we're heading back over to our two Frenchmen, FX and Gaetan, to give them a little test on their hometown. What was your earliest and first memory of the French Grand Prix? Uh, 1996, Ferrari blowing up the engine on the lapse grid. Well, my first memory was the yeah, French Grand Prix in Dijon in uh, 1981 or two. 81? Yes, I was a young kid. I was just born. <laughs> I was, oh, I was you? a young kid. <laughs> <laughs> I was a young kid and it was the first win of uh, Alain Prost with uh, Renault. What was your favourite French Grand Prix circuit? It's a difficult one because they are all with different history. I think Paul Ricard is a very different to what it was. Manico was mega. The high speed corners, the chickens was really good. But Dijon was also amazing history. So I think they're all very different. But if I had to pick one, I'd choose Manico. Oh, there is only one answer for me, it's probably car. Because it's first close from home and um, I like the atmosphere there. It's, it's great. And the track, I don't care, I don't drive the car. It's a, it's a driver job. So for me, uh, as an engineer, it's, uh, for sure it's much better. They are very nice restaurants, the sea is just nearby. That's very true. Uh, you can go home in the evening, no? I, I will drive home with my yeah, motorbike every evening. That's perfect. I will sleep home, so it's, it's good. First French Grand Prix attempt, I guess, I'll start with you again. Um, well, it, it would probably surprise you, but it was late, 2002? Yeah. But when I was young, my dad uh, loved Formula 1, he was watching it on the TV, but he always said modern Formula 1 was boring. So I, I would go to Paul Ricard to see all Formula 1, but not, it would never bring me to a proper modern F1 track. Yeah, I mean it's, I mean my, yeah, it's Dijon and uh, it was the first F1 race I, I watched. I was with my uncle. And yeah, you were probably ten years old, was I mean? No, I was a bit more, not yeah. many, but 12, 12 13. <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> it was really nice. Yeah, you will find out I'm born in 1969 now. Ah, uh, here we go. So, we got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do the calculation. I'm born in 1969. <laughs> Thanks. Mum and Dad. What are your tips for the French Grand Prix? So, like, what's good to eat? Where's the best bar? Where would you go? How would you travel there? What, what are the tips effectively? Uh, you have to go by the sea, uh, get sure. some fresh seafood. Um, yeah, there are many places there. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, just drive. I will not give you the best restaurant addresses because you will all go there, and then I will have to queue, and I will not get a table. So, okay. but we do, we do stay in the, um, we do stay by the sea, by the harbour, sure. nice fish. I was caught the same day, and it's easy to find in France. You just go any places, but you're gonna in get. La, in Las Vegas, we, we stay there a lot. Of yeah, Las Vegas. Nice, nice restaurant there. It's, not, it's not hard to find good food in France. Not like England. Just order a, a nice Côte de Provence, a nice rosé, and uh, it'll be perfect. So okay. what we want is as many French F1 winners as in drivers that you can think of. Prost, Alesi, Tombé, Arnoux, Chabouille. You, I, I can also answer? Yeah, yeah, of course! Ah, ah, okay, well... Pironi, we forgot. Pironi as well. Tombe, 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 we said, yeah. Was Tombe, uh, Panis. Panis, for sure. Oh, we nearly Panis. I mean, uh, Gasly. Gasly Ocon. as well, Ocon, yeah. De Payet. De Payet, you say. Um, but I don't know if he won one. Uh, I did say Jabouille, I think he won one. Beltoise, Mr. Beltoise, Beltoise as well, Monaco. And then yes. you can go even earlier in the 50s, but I need my dad for that. We know all of them, I think. Is there any more? Uh, Do you have more? I think there's a few. Maurice, Trinidad. François Sauvert, no? Sauvert. Trinidad. Trinidad. I'm going to show you the list. Who do we miss? Prost, Arnaud, Lafitte, Pironi, Trinidad. Oh, we're not too bad. We nearly got everybody. We just missed Trinidad and Sauvert. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah. Even if I'm born in 69. Happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. Well done. Good. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And that is it for this week's episode of the Williams Warm-Up. We'll be back next time in Hungary, but in the meantime, make sure you download the app, sign up for your driver card, and we'll see you next time.